Now we're up to the K8 block and K8 is modified as well. I'm going to go to my little booklet and it's a little simplified. These corners in here were made a lot simpler. So assembly is going to be a little different. What I'm going to do, I've got my pieces laid out and so I'm going to refer to my book here. First thing I'm going to do is assemble these three pieces as a unit so then I have this unit here. Same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to attach these two pieces right here to make these units and then it's a matter of assembling this unit to this one to this one and making a row on point and then doing the same thing over here and then it's attaching it to that center piece. So the center piece is going to be very is absolutely last. So I'm going to get started on basting my railroads right here in the corner. I'm going to baste the short sides first. In this case I'm going to do one side and then the other. I'm going to do the long sides last so I can make sure that I have a smooth seam to work from on each corner. So I've assembled my railroad track section and now I'm going to pair these sections up here and make this all one section. So now I have all three sections of this side paired up and assembled. So now it's just a matter of putting these together. So here's the entire corner assembled. So now I'm going to do this exact same assembly on this side. So now I have this other corner all completed. So all it now is a matter of attaching each side to this center section. Now I've got all these attached and so what I have is this is the front of the block and it's very dimensional but that's just because of the way that the growth worked out because I'm attaching this to a single piece with all these seams. So once I take the papers out it will calm down but right now it's just kind of poochy so that's pretty normal. But now I have a completed K8 block. 